There is a new way to get around Houston. Two different companies are offering free rides in the hopes of charging for the service sometime soon. But as Sherry Williams reports, both are running into roadblocks. To get around town, there's now a new option. Through Uber, you have the ability to hit a button on your phone. Uber and a similar ride sharing service called Lyft use apps and pre screen drivers to pick you up. Uber will send an off duty limo driver or a private person who's simply using their own car, depending on how much you want to spend. But city leaders are not officially allowing it yet. They say these kinds of companies violate regulations that exist for taxis and especially the minimum purchase rule for limos. If you want to go two blocks, 20 blocks, Two miles or 200 miles, you have to pay at least $70. So for now, the companies are offering their services at no charge to Houston customers. But one group of limo owners feel the ride sharing services present a safety, a legal, and a financial slippery slope. Some limo companies say that if outfits like Uber and Lyft are allowed to operate in Houston, there will be nothing but trouble. They can say whatever they want, but once they're active, and approved, they, they can charge you whatever they feel like. I think they're Shylocks. But this Uber spokesman says their record is proven, and he adds right. all their drivers are trustworthy. They go through background checks. They're very strict, federal, state, county background checks. Some folks told us they would go for this. Probably be more convenient and quicker than taking the bus. That Others, no not so much. Just because they're screened doesn't mean they're honest. The company spokesman tried to use his app during our interview, but no drivers were available. That could be an issue. Uh, it's we're beta testing. We launched last night. His attorney got through though. Yeah, he's arriving in one minute. Sure enough, a car arrived a minute later. We're talking like sixty thousand dollars a year on average. Even a taxi driver told us he's okay with that. This is um, a free country, free business. You know, so everybody, anybody can get in and uh, make his money and go home. City council has not scheduled a vote on this yet. While they're in neutral, studying the issue, Uber and Lyft have put it in drive, hoping to park their operation in our city on a permanent basis. Sherry Williams, KHOU 11 News.